Hi guys, and welcome back to the shed. Um, so today we're going to be talking about Husqvarna's combi cam. Um, Own this for about 18 months now. Um, and I'm going to be frank, it's chocolate, to be honest. Um, I hate it. Certainly um, quite disappointing really, considering that, um, well, with, with all other Husqvarna products that I've used, um, quality's been really good, performed really well. Um, as you saw from a previous video, um, or one of my other ones, I've got a Husqvarna chainsaw, which I rate highly. Um, and unfortunately, this, considering that um, all it is is a fuel can, it uh, it really isn't that good. But why isn't it that good? Well, that's the thing. So first of all, I want to talk about the auto stop nozzles, especially the uh, the fuel one in particular. So I've had probably in the 18 months that I've owned this. I've lost count of how many sets or, or one of these that I've had. And the reason for that is because the seals inside, um, they deteriorate and you can't see because the light in here is rubbish. I don't know whether you can see there, but they jam open so they don't actually close off again. Um, let me see if that so I apologize about Bill in the background there um, but yeah so as you can see there they don't actually close and every time you have to manually push it back so they are crap um, like I say I've had multiple sets of them um, all of which do the same thing they're fine for about probably a couple of weeks uh, if you're lucky, you get a couple of months. Um, but yeah, really, Bill? Sorry. Um, so yeah, that's the um, fuel nozzle. Um, the oil nozzle. You don't have the same issue as you do with the fuel. That seems to um, open and close just fine. The only issue with that is it's way too restrictive to use with the oil. Um, it takes a month for Sandys to actually fill the tank. Um, I use uh, a local firm called Lambros Engineering. This is their oil that they supply. Um, it's nothing overly fancy. Um, I just think it's a really good um, bar oil. Um, it, uh, excuse me, sorry. Bill, come on, mate. Keep it in the empty. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> He keeps coming in the shed. I'm not really too sure why. I mean, he's got all the space outside to do what he's got to do, but he comes in. Um, so yeah, the oil nozzle. It's way too restrictive. It takes absolutely ages to, to fill the uh, the oil tank. You can get the um, the standard necks that are literally just the vented um, vented pipe. They work much better. I wouldn't recommend using the. Um, the auto stop ones. Um, going back to the fuel nozzle, I have actually tried um, silicon sprays and um, penetrating fluids, WD-40 and all that kind of stuff to try and stop <laughs> these from doing this, um, but nothing seems to work. Like I say, contacted Husqvarna themselves about it um, and just, just inquired whether or not they, they had this issue before or they've heard about it. And actually they come back and said that they have. Um, a few people have reported it um, and they're, they're looking into it. So hopefully that's something that um, we will see change. Um, the other thing that I absolutely, or I absolutely hate, but um, the other issue that I've had is um, on the um, file holders. So the round file holder is absolutely fine, sits in there nice and snug, nice and tight, but the, um, the flat file drops out. And it's done that 
ever since um, day one of making it. So again, just really pretty poor. And that is actually a Husqvarna flat fire. Um, the other one, thing that I don't like is the way that the files sit in front of the um, of the spanner. So it just makes it really awkward, just putting your hand down, especially if you've got a pair of gloves on, you know, trying to get your hand down behind the spanners, uh, behind the file, sorry, to get your spanner. Um, it would make a lot more sense if they was in front. Um, it has got a little carry pouch. Um, in there, I keep a spare chain, um, a little syringe that I can use to oil my, um, my bar bearing on the nose, and also for the... Um, the needle bearing in the sprocket casing. Um, so I keep a spare spare chain, a little syringe, a sachet of the grease, and also a file guide that goes with the round and flat file. Um, but yeah, really and, and truly, in comparison to the still, I've gone over to a, a steel combi cam because it's just it's just much better. Um, you don't have the issue with the, the nozzles um, and my local supplier has been really great at replacing these um, under warranty but even so by the time you get to you know replacing one or two makes a bit of sense but by the time you, you're sort of getting up to 10 cents it's, it's just a bit of a joke really um, so as a Husqvarna product or as any product regardless of, of who it was but it being a Husqvarna product it's quite disappointing really um, it really not it just it just doesn't it doesn't keep up with all of their other products um, you know I, I use I've got Husqvarna felling axes wedges tapes and all they all seem to be really good they seem to be pieced together really well high quality good quality reliable um, this is the total opposite. Um, really my take on the combi fuel can, I certainly would not recommend um, until the issues have been have been sorted. I wouldn't recommend this to people. Um, or if you did go for it, I certainly wouldn't get the auto fill no uh, the auto shut nozzles. Just go for the standard ones. But then I still find that just the way it's put together with the file holder and the file holders themselves, I wouldn't recommend it. I'd certainly recommend going for a steel combi can, or even some of the other the other ones, Oregon combi stuff like that. I find they're a lot better. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Obviously, if you've got any ideas or anything like that that you want me to feature on the channel and uh, things that you want to see me do, and it, whether it be reviews or, or whatever, then please feel free to to give me your suggestions. I'd be really interested in reading those. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one. And as always, be lucky.